Hello and welcome to the virtual grim room. My name is Jack, your host, and today I'm bringing you another shaving video. So, what am I using? Today, I'm going to be using from Satel and Lux and Declaration Grooming. This scent is Nefertiti. Nefertiti, as some of you may know, is a, a character in Egyptian mythology. The scent of this is just mesmerizing. The way I would say, the way I would describe it personally, it's just a smoky honey scent. Incense, oh, it's just wonderful. Uh, this is in the Icarus base, which as you guys know, I really, really like. Um, I'm going to be pairing that matching splash with this. Yep, really, really looking forward to using that. Um, I'm going to be shaving with my custom Max Sprecher. That's going to be my first pass today. I'm going to be doing a wither grain pass with that. And my uh, cross grain pass, I'm going to be doing two passes, is, in my opinion, the best safety razor on the market. This is the Christopher Bradley in St. Louis Still, made by Carve Shaving Co. Um, because people are crybabies, I have to say that I work for Carve Shaving Co. Um, I guess last but not least is this beauty. Uh, this is my brush. This is a new brush. This is from, uh, let me shake it out a bit and then I'll show you. Um, this is from, this was uh, handled. The handle was made by Fat Don Rob, as you can see by his coin at the bottom there and it was knotted by Milton from Turn and Shave. I mean, look at these tips. Let me show you again. Those are some fantastic tips. Uh, yeah, this that's a uh, V3 tip knot, 26 mil. Um, I'm gonna go away, apply some pre-shave to my face. I'm gonna be using this guy today. This is the Grooming Department Moisturizing Pre-Shave. Yep, I'm gonna go away, kind of sort that out, and I'll see you guys for lathering up. See you in a sec. Hey guys, our pre shave is applied. Let's get to lathering or loading the bowl. Bowl. Loading the brush here. Uh, this is a fairly new brush. I'll, I'm going to try and work it a little bit here. Maybe a 40 second load, or at least I'm happy with the way it looks. Uh, so the Icarus base is a base that I like quite a lot if you've watched this channel before. However, I feel it's really, really easily overhydrated. And once it's easily, like once it's been overhydrated, it goes downhill fast. Um, to the point where it starts to, I won't say dissipate, but it gets very, very thin on your face. So you need to be very mindful of that when using this. I mean, this thing just picks up soap. <laughs> it does a very good job. Still gonna keep going here. I really wanna get a heavy load on this. You know, no brush, that sort of thing. Just a good idea to get a good, uh, good load. So how have your shaves been going? Mine have been going great. Um, I've been using the straight quite a lot, at least for the first passes of my shave, similar to how I'm gonna do it here. I've done a couple full shaves, but I don't think I'm quite ready for that yet, so. Okay, um, I, I think I'm pretty happy with that load here, so. Um, I've got a good amount in the brush there. What I'm going to do here is just get everything loose and apply it to my face. That scent is just wonderful. Very smoky, honey. If I remember, I'll put the notes in the description. Just to give you a better idea. It really is, really, really is well made in terms of the scent. Of course, the soak is fantastic too. I've used this before. My first time using this was a, a, a carb live stream that I did a couple of months ago. So I've not used this since. I have far too many soaps. <laughs> so yeah, there is that. Okay, let's uh, get to lathering up, shall we? I should paint this on like normal. So I was informed by Milton, uh, the guy who's behind Turn and Shave. You'll probably know him by now that this will change a lot over time, this knot. Um, at the moment, it has lots of backbone, maybe a little bit too much, in fact. He says eventually the backbone goes away and it turns very soft, not floppy, but soft. Wow. Okay, it's gonna be a pretty long lather, guys.
The brush tips are beautiful. Man, this thing just makes a lava. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Don't worry. I am not done yet, I can believe you me. Paint a bit, kind of see where we are. I tend to use these parts as like a reference point of where I want to take it. Generally, um, I've learned with straights, you hydrate as much as you can. Not so much volume, but hydration is the most important thing. Okay, I would say the volume where is where it needs to be, really. I mean, look at that there. Is that a decent hydration level as well, but we're gonna Push it a little bit further. Just sprinkle water on a uh, little bit of time. A little bit more after this is what I think will be most part okay. This is one of the slickest bases, so top top five for me easily, the Icarus base. So we're gonna put just a little bit on now. Just sprinkle the drops as you can see, get them around the side so I can take the flow through off in the same time, like that. And really work that in, there's a really nice shine here. Yeah, where, where it needs to be, it's perfect. Like I said, this is pretty easy to collapse and I don't want to do that, so I'm pretty happy with it right there. It's very slick, I can feel how slick it is. Okay, let's dry off the hands so we can get to shaving. Okay, Max Brecker, eight eights, Barber's Notch, full hollow, I think it's half hollow. Let's do it. Let's actually wet the razor first. Very slow. Pretty happy with that side. Switch to the left. I've got a lot more comfortable with my left hand and I hope you'll see. I mean, I urge anyone that just get wants to get into this type of shaving, just go deep, you know, get a very good razor. I'm 
I'm not saying you have to invest in something as expensive as this, but I'm just saying, don't get a $50 straight razor, just invest because you won't regret it. To be honest, I'm actually happy with that as the pass. Uh, that first pass is getting easier and easier for me and it will continue to get easier as well. So happy with that. Let me uh, kind of towel off the straight hair and then we'll get to our second pass with the Christopher Bradley. I could do a cross grain pass. I've done a couple of full shaves. They've gone fairly well, but I don't really want to get into the habit of kind of forcing myself to do it. So I'm going to switch over here. It's been dried. There's a towel on top of it. Let me wet my face and we'll lather up the past here. I believe I've improved quite a lot um, over the past, I'd say, couple of weeks. Let's lather up the past two here. So the important thing with this soap I've found is to fight the urge, especially when you push it so far on that first pass, to add way more water on that second pass. Especially with the quality of water I have, like I have extremely hard water, but Okay, uh, in this, as I said, we've got a second use wash card. Uh, Chris, again from another cut above, has really uh, encouraged me to use this. Very nice. Okay, let's do it. Man, that's smooth. Very, very smooth. Okay, um, I think I think I'm actually good where I am there. So let's apply this as a face wash. Lots of lather in here, as you can see. Very nice. The kind of hydration level I was looking for as well. So. Man, that smells so good. Okay, I'm gonna finish rubbing this into my face. And I'll see you guys for the post-shave. I'll see you in a sec. Welcome back to the post-shave. Nice shave. You can see a bit of irritation there from a shave I had a couple of days ago. It's going away for the most part. It looks pretty bad, but it doesn't feel that bad. Okay, let's get into this uh, aftershave now. So this is the matching splash. This is two fluid ounces. Um, the longevity of this, I'm not sure. However, he's a Chateau and Lux, as far as I'm aware, as a perfumer, so it should be pretty good. You don't need too much of this, really. That's about as much as I would use of male grooming, so. Yes, this is gonna be good. Might burn a bit, but it's gonna be good. Hmm. No burn. <laughs> Man, 
menthol. Just a touch, not much menthol. Wow. It's a really nice splash. Uh, very, very little after aftershave burn. Uh, no alcohol burn really whatsoever. Um, yeah, really great shave. Uh, do a bit of a recap of the stuff. I've got this straight over there to dry. You know what that guy, that looks like. Um, I really want to show you the brush. So here's a close up of the brush again. This is absolutely lovely if you look at the colors in there. He calls it his goblet of fire, the knot here. Absolutely wonderful. As I said, a 26 mil V3 tip knot by Turn and Shave. And this is your, that Don Robin insignia. Great shave. And uh, to finish off, to tidy everything up, Christopher Bradley razor in stainless steel. I'm using the B-plate with the Voschkod. Fantastic shave. Incredible shave, guys. Uh, how, how have you guys been doing? Uh, it's been a while, it's been a bit over a week since I did the video with Kai. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, more than likely, more videos of that nature will come. I've been very busy recently, so yeah, apologize for the lack of videos. I've got a bit of sunburn, I didn't realize, but it is what it is when you're an extremely white man in the fucking desert. <laughs> you just, you cook alive. Yeah, uh, great shave. Uh, have a great weekend, guys. It's Friday today. Um, I've missed making videos for you all. I hope to be more frequent in the next few weeks. Hopefully, as I said, if I remember, I'll put the uh, ingredients of the soap and the scent notes of this soap. It's a fantastic soap. It's, you can't buy it anymore, but if you find a way to pick it up, like pre-owned or something, I would. It's such a lovely scent. Um, yeah, apart from that, have a great weekend, guys. It's been your host, Jack, from the Virtual Groom Room. Goodbye for now.